everyone! Buongiorno on this beautiful Friday morning. And what else to do on this beautiful Friday morning than deal with some bureaucracy? <laughs> I have to go to the comune to... but not ours, like another comune. I have to get a certificate for our marriage with, with Mauro because I want to register uh, our marriage in Hungary. It's, it's a whole shenanigan, I'm not gonna go to the details, but anyway, we're going there now and I thought, because it's another town, we're gonna deal with finding a parking spot uh, in the city or in the town, which is not an easy task to do, so I thought I'm gonna talk about like how to find a parking spot and when we are there I'm gonna show you the different parking spots because in Italy there's different colors and different colors means different things. You're gonna learn from this video how not to get a ticket <laughs> and get a parking spot uh, instead. Uh, if you are coming with a car or if you are renting a car, first of all, it's better not to have a car because it's just, yeah, it's, uh, it's better to come and just walk or use the public transport. But I guess uh, there are situations when when it's really useful or it's you have to do have to come with car anyway uh, now we're going there we are dealing with the bureaucracy stuff and then i will explain everything It's incredible, we are done. <laughs> we were a I was able to get everything what I wanted, the document. It is incredible. It took us just one hour with the waiting. It was really, really fast. It, it feels uh, unbelievable and feels wrong. There's so many things to do still, but one of the step is done. So basically there's three, three kind of parking spots. One of them is yellow, the other one is blue and the third one is white. So these white lines that you are searching for, these are the free lines. You can park here whenever you want, for as long as you want and it's for free. It's for free! <laughs> this is the blue line. On the blue line you have to pay. So these are the machine. These are the machines that you are using for buying the ticket. You can pay it with cards and uh, cash. So where, as I said, where there's the blue line, you can park, but you have to pay. I don't find this one, but if it's and there's in it that uh, is showing you, is telling you the information that it's a residency park, uh, parking spot, which means that you cannot park there, just the owner of the, the residency. So this one, the yellow one, and there's a, a guy here that says that you can't park here because they are, it's for a store, uh, when they can, you know, they are bringing the stuff and that's when they are parking here. There's this yellow one, but it's for disabled people. And there's this one where you don't know what is it, because you see blue and white and yellow, it's like you, you don't know what, uh, <laughs> what kind of parking spot is this. Okay, and there's the pink one, which, which is a kind of a new feature, is you have those for uh, pregnant ladies, or for uh, maminas who has a kid who is one year younger so we can use that still with Alberto so there's this sign called ZTL as you can see here it's saying non attiva which is insane uh, it's really important this sign is usually it's the, the entrance of the old town area in every city and town and that means that you can't enter Okay, but now it's not active. This means that we can go in 
uh, with car, but I would just suggest, you, and it's, if it's active, it's red. So it's obvious that you shouldn't enter. Fun fact, we get married over there. One year ago. Nothing is better than a granita. It's ice and syrup. It's filled with sugar, but it's perfect on a hot day like this. I wouldn't suggest that you do this, for example. Freedom. Okay, that's, that's a completely different video where I'm gonna explain why it's so much better to live in the countryside than in cities. We did everything without... We... we the, the point is... Okay, I'm trying to get my focus back. It's just... It's really hot. It's really, really hot. And we're gonna go to the seaside in two days. Thank God. Okay, where are we going? We're going to Padova? Because we're living over there, so... And over there, when I'm saying, like, that direction, it's like... Because what I see now is just field. I don't see any, there's nothing else around us, just fields. And I see the our our hills. And this is how you are coordinating yourself in the countryside from nature. It's uh, it's it's really a different video, but it's really amazing. Okay, side note. Anyway, so uh, the parking spots. As I said before, that there are different uh, colors that you have to deal with and I suggest you to do, if you really ha are with the car, is that you are taking, you are getting a parking spot, you are getting a parking spot at the, the outside of the, of the city or like not in the center area, not, especially not in the, the the old town area most of the places were cities you can't even go into the that area but like so it's better if you're parking in the like outside the center and then you walk or like Italy is it's really walkable but also you can uh, take a bus or a tram or something the other thing that I usually do like uh, for example it's impossible to find a parking spot usually in Italy where the the hospital is. Uh, the hospital area usually is filled with cars uh, because well because a lot of people are going to the hospitals but because also people are like doesn't they are just parking there and then they are walking because it's a free parking spot it's in, it's insane. So what I usually did is that I parked like like a 500 meter far in a, in a at the supermarket parking spot which is is something that you shouldn't do of course like because that parking is for the customers usually i spent like half an hour to do my stuff at the hospital and also i was pregnant wouldn't recommend that you're like parking in a supermarket spot for a whole day but it also depends on how big is that is the parking area the other thing that you can do is because of those colors, you're, you're, before you you go with your car, you're checking out, you know, on Google Maps, where you can find uh, white parking spots. So you know where you're usually where kind of where you want to go, and you're checking it in Google Maps, and you're just walking around, and you you see where are the parking spots. So you check that, and then you you go there with your car and you're trying to be hopefully you're gonna be lucky okay i think that's all i can say about this uh, this topic what is the the short answer to the video title how to find a parking spot in italy is that you are renting a vespa thanks for listening thanks for watching <laughs> have a nice day <laughs> It is one of the reasons that I love to live here. Look at this!
How gorgeous is this? <laughs> 